Boeing India is considering participation in the AMCA program that will be executed under the special purpose vehicle route, which will see the participation of private sector companies. Boeing India will study the special purpose vehicle route model and whether it is feasible and will Boeing India be allowed as an Indian subsidiary to participate in Indian fighter jet programs. Hindustan Aeronautics will build five prototypes of AMCA for carrying out developmental flights for next six years, before it is cleared for production in 2032, with assured orders for 140 units, that will likely cross 200 units. The Director General of DRDO's Aeronautical Systems has inaugurated the manufacturing of the dry cavalry engine module at the God Regen Boys facility. The RDO's gas turbine research establishment had awarded a contract to God Regen Boys in September 2022 to manufacture eight modules of the 48 kN dry cavalry engine. Godrich will deliver the engines to the RDO by early 2024 and will be used on the Indian unmanned strike aircraft that is under development for the Indian Air Force. Following massive delays in the Project 75I, Mazagin Dockyard Limited and the Indian Navy are spearheading plans to acquire three more Calvary-class submarines for just over $3 billion. Mazagin Dockyard Limited has claimed to the Navy that once contracted, it will reduce the hull launch to sea trial period to just six years on average per submarine. The Indian Navy intends to obtain approval for three additional Calvary-class submarines equipped with DRDO Air Independent Propulsion System by the end of this year, and the contract will be awarded by the mid of 2024, and the first submarine will start sea trials in late 2030. The Indian Navy has issued an invitation for expression of interest from reputable Indian firms who possess the technical and financial capabilities infrastructure and experience required for the establishment of a repair and overhaul facility for MiG-29K landing gears and associated actuating struts, and also a comprehensive facility for testing the landing gears and associated actuating struts. Former Indian Navy Chief Admiral Karambir Singh has inaugurated a Naval Research and Development Center at private sector firm Big Bang Boom Solutions Private Limited in Chennai, that will play a pivotal role in research and development and will carry out varied projects, including passive naval deterrence, electronic warfare systems, artificial intelligence and sensor-enabled fire detection and suppression system. Amid the reports that the Navy is looking to procure 12 to 15 naval Tejas aircraft to operate as a dedicated training and technology development squadron for frontline naval aviators, senior officers at the Aeronautical Development Agency have said that they were unaware of any move to pitch a small package of naval Tejas aircraft to the Indian Navy, and that they had dedicated all resources towards the TED-BF program, but they agreed that a contingent of active service naval Tejas aircraft in the Navy would provide a nerve center of customer feedback that would feed right into the TED-BF program. The DRDO and LNT developed indigenous light tank will be rolled out later this year, after which it will undergo internal trials and will immediately be handed over to Indian Army for high altitude trials along the line of actual control. The Indian Army plans to conclude trials within the next 18 to 24 months, after which it will enter production for 45 units by Larson and Tubro, that will form the 1st Regiment, and the rest 270 units will be manufactured under the Make 1 category.